through this family self-sufficiency program, I'm able to actually move into my own home, call it mine, I'm able to fix it up and put my character and personality into it. Even late in life, I would be able to own a house, you know, and here I am, uh, I had just uh, turned 64, just a couple of weeks after, uh, well, 21 days after I, I closed on the 17th of November, and on the 11th of December, you know, I turned 64, and, and owning my very first home. Something I thought that I w would never be able to do. I lost my job over at uh, OU through a reduction in force, not through any fault of my own. And then uh, right after that, while I was going to school to, to pursue a master's degree in teaching English as a second language, I was uh, struck with cancer. Uh, with my cancer treatment, open heart surgery, kind of like going towards the grave, back out, going towards the grave, back out. I had some things that seemed to be more pressing, like survival in my house. My only hope now is that through the treatments that I'm able to stay alive a few more years, actually a long time. Because, uh, you know, we all love our dogs and our cats and our family and our friends and all of us love life. We all love the world in spite of its pains and suffering. Here it is. It's the final minutes. It's the last inning. It's the last play. And here I come, beat up and everything else, but sliding in safely to home, you know.